So I found the assembly of the chair to be fairly straightforward. The included instructions were of high quality and were easy to follow. It was nice to see the screws came individually packaged and were labelled with their actual function rather than giving them a number or a letter and you're having to match this up with the instruction manual. And as well, it was good that there were some extra screws included. One of the things I didn't do during the assembly, but I would recommend you doing, is using the included gloves. There's quite a bit of grease on the parts of the chair and certainly my hands were quite dirty by the time I had finished assembling the chair and then it makes sense that some gloves are included. Okay, let's take a look at the chair's features. So you have quite a lot of options for adjusting the support the chair offers. First of all, putting the lever over to the right hand side will adjust the height of the chair by up to 10 centimeters. I'm six foot tall and I find sitting at the chair in the highest setting to be fairly comfortable. Putting the lever on the left hand side of the chair frees up the tilt mechanism and this chair will tilt from 90 to 120 degrees. The armrests offer 3D adjustment so putting the lever on the out hand side will allow you to adjust the height of the armrest by up to 7 cm. The armrest can be adjusted in a backwards to forwards direction by up to 5.5 cm and can be rotated to the right or the left by 30 degrees. The chair features two way back support so there's a dial on the back where you can adjust the amount of lumbar support and this can be moved up and down by 5 cm to adjust the position where the lumbar support is felt. Finally, the headrest is adjustable in height and by up to 12 cm and the angle can also be adjusted by 45 degrees. The back of the chair is made from mesh and features an ergonomic curve designed to keep your back cool and comfortable even when you're sitting at the chair for long periods of time. The seat of the chair features a deep memory foam cushion and is designed to accommodate weights of up to 150 kilos and heights from 160 to 183 centimeters. So I've now been sitting on the chair for a little while at my desk using the computer and I found it a fairly comfortable chair to sit in. The memory foam cushion is well padded and offers plenty of support and is comfortable to sit in, while the ergonomic mesh panel at the back is also fairly good. It supports my spine in all the right places and is actually nice and cool at the back as well. In terms of height, I'm six foot tall and having the chair on the highest setting is actually fairly comfortable for me in the legs. A lot of chairs I've tested in the past have actually been too short for me and this one is quite good. In terms of sitting at the desk, I'm able to get into a nice position and the armrests support me well when using the keyboard and mouse. Now there is only two things I'm maybe not so keen on on the chair. While I've mentioned the ergonomic panel at the back does support your back well, it only does that if you're sitting very far back into the seat. If I was to move any way forward in the seat at all, the chair is actually too far back for me and you can see this is not gonna be a comfortable position to sit in and work at the desk. And the only way I can get my spine into the right position is to sit all the way back and then you'll see the back of the chair actually supports me well. I can feel the lumbar support and this is gonna be very comfortable to sit at the desk. But obviously you are gonna to want to move your position about a little bit on the chair and I would feel this would be a slight limitation for me in that I'm gonna to have to sit all the way back in the chair to support my spine. So I think obviously this is due to the shape at the back of the chair, but one of the other features is the chair actually will only come up to 90 degrees and rotate back to 120 and there's no way to bring the chair past 90 degrees and you can see here if I was able to sit forward but bring the back of the chair slightly forward 
I could vary my position in the chair a little bit more. But the fact the bat won't come past 90 degrees means the only way I can get comfortable is to sit all the way back in the chair. The other thing you can probably notice with me sitting fully in the chair, all my back is supported, but this neck rest is doing absolutely nothing. And if I was to lean back into the neck rest, you can see that's going to be a really uncomfortable position to sit in. So while you've got quite good adjustment up and down, and you can actually tilt the neck rest quite well, there's no way to actually bring it forward. So as you can see with me sitting in it, this neck rest isn't going to be any use in the sitting position. If I go ahead and turn the chair around and engage the tilt mechanism, and lie back in the chair, tilt the neck rest, you can see in this position the neck rest is going to be useful. But if we go ahead and bring the chair back to the upright, and tilt it round, it's not going to be any use at all to me in this particular position. So to illustrate some of the points I've just made, I thought it would be a good idea to compare with my current chair, which is the Secret Lab Titan. So sitting at the desk with the Secret Lab, again I can get myself into a nice comfortable position using the keyboard and mouse with the armrests. The only thing with the armrests in the Secret Lab is they are much larger. So when you're sitting at them, they do offer much more support for your arms. With the M Favour chair, I found I was having to move my arms a little bit more and adjust the armrests, where with this chair, there's almost no need to adjust them because they're so large, you're in quite a comfortable position all the time. The other thing you're probably noticing is I am getting neck support at this chair. We've got a memory foam pillow, which goes behind my neck and head and means I'm quite comfortable sitting at the chair. The other thing in this chair is the tilt mechanism will go past the 90 degrees. So if I go ahead and pull it in, we can tilt the chair all the way forward where nobody's got to sit at it at. But it means I can vary my position a little bit more on the chair. If I want to sit slightly further forward, I can bring the backrest up a little bit. And again, I'm going to be able to sit in that position. So it's probably not fair comparing the M Favour chair to the Secret Lamb Titan, given the price difference. So this carriage currently retails for $165.99. But I did check on Amazon today and there's a good reduction on it at $127.49. So we've now reached a stage in the review where I need to tell you, should you go out and get this chair? And in general, I've been really impressed with the chair. I find it fairly comfortable to sit in, the build quality is good, and it offers a lot in terms of features. And particularly when you consider the budget price of the chair, you're getting an awful lot of chair for your money. For me, however, it wasn't perfect, and that was just two features that let it down for me. And that was the fact that you can't bring the backrest forward past 90 degrees, and the headrest, there's no way to move it forward. So for me, I wasn't able to get into a perfect position. That didn't affect me while I was using my computer for a short period of time, and all the time I've been sitting in the chair recording this review, I find it a fairly comfortable experience. But I would imagine over a longer session at the computer, the not being able to move the backrest and not being able to move the neckrest would start to show some signs of fatigue sitting on it. And again, the fact that I have to actually sit all the way back in the chair to have the backrest support me, again, wouldn't be perfect for me over a long period of time. And particularly given I spend a lot of time in this chair editing the videos for the channel. It is however important to remember that the comfort features I'm describing with the chair may just be my own individual preferences and somebody else coming along and sitting in the chair might find the level of adjustment that it offers to be absolutely fine for them. So I think if you are somebody like me who wants the backrest to come forward and to offer a bit more neck support, you might be better staying away from this one. However, if these are less important to you, I can definitely recommend this chair. Um, it's fairly comfortable to sit in, it has a great price and I think you'll be fairly happy with it. So if you want to check the chair out in more detail, you'll find a link to it in the description. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.